A new snapshot, a new command that we can play around with, the Minecraft boss bar. Hey guys, it's Chad. With a new snapshot, we get a new command to play around with. This is the boss bar, and we've always we've had the boss bar in Minecraft for a very, very long time, and there were ways to write stuff to the boss bar, but it was very, very hacky, and like you'd really only ever see it on servers. Now, using commands, it's so much easier to actually change what the boss bar looks like, how it reacts, how it is, how it's calculated, and so let's jump into a few basics about the Minecraft boss bar. So here we are inside of Minecraft. And before we get uh, to showing you a little bit about the boss bars, I do want to give a shout out to Pepang and Try Ashtar on the r slash Minecraft commands for kind of walking me through this um, uh, r slash Minecraft commands discord. That's the subreddit. And but they also have a discord and uh, they helped. Uh, they were very um uh, let me say patient with me, uh, walking me through some of this. So first the, uh, the basic command is just boss bar. And I love the new snapshot in that it kind of walks you through everything. So you're going to first create a boss bar and then you give it a name. Now this name is kind of like a backend name. And so you can change the name that sh shows above the boss bar at any time, but this name is going to be kind of specific. So we're going to call this one OMG craft. And just like, uh, kind of, this is kind of like a JSON thing is that you can't have specific symbols. So you shouldn't have, uh, you know, X, uh, large, sorry. <laughs> So you shouldn't have capital letters or anything like that. You should just keep it all lowercase letters. Next, this is the actual name that will show up. So we're just going to call this now. Uh, I was going to call this OMG craft test, but this has to be also uh, in kind of JSON format. So this needs to be in quotes if you are planning on making it be just words, but also this, we're going to get into this a little bit later, but this can be a lot more powerful because you can basically use the tell raw, um, list of commands and the JSON, um, uh, sort of like commands to make this be whatever you want. Perfect. And now you're done. So we have created, and you can see OMG craft test and it's using, um, if I get out of there, uh, it's using the second name as the name that it shows in the chat. And you can see that when you hover over it, you can see what kind of the uh, default name is or the, the backend name. So now that we have created this boss bar, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. We could remove it. <laughs> that would be quite a, the quickest box bar ever. Uh, you can get, and this is uh, basically getting the uh the um like what value it is right now now i've already created one i've created one called test underscore bar and omg craft which we just made so let me just do the omg craft one for right now and you can see we can get what is the max how many players are in it the value of it right now and if it's visible or unvisible so let's just go ahead with value and it should be set to zero because we just did it and we haven't added anything in, into it again. So let's go back in. Uh, that was the get. Uh, the list is just to list how many bars we have. And you can see that we have one, two, two custom bars which are active, one called Spooky Ghost, which is that test bar, and one called OMG Craft Test, which is just just that. Now, you can't see the boss bar yet. Come on, I want to see it. What the heck? Um, and uh, the way to show it off is boss bar. Go ahead and go down to set. So we've seen uh, all these. Now, set is a much more uh, powerful set of commands. So we're going to go down to set and you can see the two bars. So we'll start off with OMG craft and you can now set the color, the maximum value, the name of it. So if we wanted to rename this, uh, we could rename it right here. Uh, the players that can see this, the style of it, the value of it, uh, if it's visible or not. Now, by default, it is actually visible. Now, you may think so if I hit true here, uh, it's actually already visible. But why can't we see it up at the top? Well, that's because uh, players have not been added to this bar yet. So we're going to go back into uh, bar set, the one that we want to do. And we're going to choose players. And let's just go ahead and choose at A, which is just at everyone. We could also uh, add specific players into this. And we can also add a selector. So if we wanted to say, you know, at E with the entity 
uh, type, whatever you can, you can do that or players with us that are in a specific group or anything like that. So, uh, you can really get uh, powerful with which com players can see it, but we just did it for every player. So now I can see the OMG craft test bar up there at the top because I've been added to, uh, to this, this, t this bar basically. Um, so now let's go ahead and set a something so we can see that it is actually moving and let's add just a value into this by default uh this is zero to 100 okay so if i say a value of 45 it's gonna go just a little bit less than halfway full so let's just go ahead and hit enter and there you go you can see that it moved forward now let's play away around with the look of our boss bar so we're gonna do boss bar set and the one that we're working with and let's change the color why not let's change it to yellow why not there we go now it is yellow now let's say uh before i had changed one of my boss bars to red and i really like that except it was very difficult to read that omg craft test up there so what i went ahead and did was you can change now the name and like i said with the uh Telra command I can make the name a different color uh, using the tell raw command. So what we're going to do is uh, use some of these squigglies right here. And we are going to first make some text. Then we are going to add a colon. And then what is this text going to be? And it's going to be exactly what it is uh, up there. There we go. So the text will say OMG craft test but we want the color color to be uh let's just choose uh white so white there we go so this will make uh the name the text of omg craft and the color to be white this is using those tell raw commands i was talking about before so if we enter there we go now we change the name to a much better color and we can still do the color so we could change this to purple and whoops i didn't actually change the num to purple and there you go the bar changes color but the title doesn't because we're using telra and telra is very 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 powerful because we can bold text we can make it be that crazy weird text we can underline text so we can do all sorts of different stuff with the telra command so that was color uh, we change color uh, max can just be whatever the max is so if you are doing something where they want like let's say you want players to move 256 blocks you can set the max to 256 so you don't have to do any math uh, in order for it to get there name we covered players we covered style okay so style is what the bar looks like and you can see that there is a progress bar which is the default notched six which will add whoopsie doodle notch six which will add notches so you can see that there is a, a little bit and let me change the color because Purple's a little bit difficult to see. There we go. So I changed it to white so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, so that is notched six. You can do notched 10, which will add more notches. You could do notch 12, which will add even more notches. And of course, notch 20, as you can see, to add 20 notches. So uh, if for some reason you wanted something to have say uh six steps or 12 steps or 10 steps um you can use these notches and then also you could use uh the uh the setting of the max so we'll set the max to be right now this is uh uh 20 is the notches so we'll set the the max to 20 but remember the value is already set at uh what was it 45 so let's set the value to be six and there we go and so now uh there's only 20 steps we're sitting at the sixth value, um, and if now, uh, so so anyway, you can you can see uh, what that looks like. Now, if I set the max to say uh, forty, so this is double the amount. If I set the value to seven, you will actually get a half notch. So uh, just because there are notches on the bar does not mean that your progress will actually uh, show those notches. Like you're not going to be locked in to notches if that is what. Uh, your your uh, style is so those are the only things in style the uh, notch 6 10 12 and 20 or just a simple progress bar so let me just switch to progress to get rid of all those so that is everything in the set command so we got color max name players style value and visible or not visible so I'm actually going to set this to be not visible 
I keep doing this. I, I always forget that I have to ta tab autocomplete. So there we go. So now that is hidden. And I want to show you some more things that you can do with the tell raw command. Now, before we go into this, I do want to say that uh, these are not auto updating. So if you use a tell raw to ch find uh, the nearest entity to a point in the world, you can do that command once and you can uh, execute that command but it's only going to ever execute once. So we're using this command block, which is set to always active and on to repeat to do this command, which is boss bar set the, uh, we're using this test underscore bar. So not the OMG craft one we've been working with. Uh, and we're gonna change the name of that bar to a different tell raw command, which is selector at P. And I've changed the color to be white. And before I changed the color, uh, the color of the bar to be red. So the bar will be red, but the text up top will be right white. But this is what you really want to focus on is this selector at P. So this command block at P remember is the closest player. This command block is running over and over and over and over again to see what is the closest player. That's why I have spooky ghost here. So I'm going to change the boss bar of the uh, OMG the test bar here to be visible, which it's currently not. So let's set that to true. There we go. So now you can see this boss bar. I played around with it a little bit. It has uh, six notches. It's red and it's white. And if I move in front of Spooky Ghost closer to this command block, you can see that the name of the bar changes because uh, my player is moving closer and, and further away. And now this player is the closest to that command. And now I am the closest to that command. Uh, so you can see that these can be incredibly, incredibly powerful. Uh, you can use the, this with the, uh, with, with, you know, the git command and, and the test for command to change all sorts of things in the boss bar to set them the max limit to be a specific thing that a different command block needs so these command blocks can be very 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 powerful um, and you can get quite a lot i tried to set up a command block that uh, would track the player's uh, walking progress so uh, it would fill up as you tried to walk one whole meter uh, or sorry a uh, kilometer in minecraft so <laughs> one meter would just be a single block so if you moved a thousand blocks it would slowly move your progress uh, along and you can easily do that if you know commands and I just don't know commands and I'm a, I'm a noob when it comes to it so there you go that's a little bit more about the boss bar hope you found this video useful if you did please share it with your friends uh, let people know that this is a kind of a quickie intro look at the boss bar thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG craft if you enjoyed it please give this video a like please leave a comment down below and please subscribe to the channel for future videos see you next time on OMG craft bye